Hello, this is Cuckoo. Today is a really special day because I get to reveal what I've been working on in the shadows. I learned how to do uh, video packs for the OPZ and it was a, spe a special occasion that led me to do that. Uh, Teenage Engineering asked me if I wanted to collaborate with them by making a video pack with Mega Man. And if you know me, uh, I'm an old school gamer, maybe not a gamer anymore, but I was a gamer and Mega Man was definitely one of my favorite games and IPs. And if they ask me to make a, a video pack, all right, let's, let's do that. So I learned how to do uh, video packs and uh, yeah, I wanna show you how it works. I was just gonna mention that before it was a video pack, it was a lot of sketches. So this is my initial sketch. And as you can see, there's a lot of ideas bouncing around here on this paper. I didn't manage to take all of these ideas to the finished product, but most of them, most of them. And I'm stoked about that. The way to find this pack is to go to the OPZ app, connect the OPZ and download the pack. And due to the legal um, licensing situation, it's only available when you have the OPZ available and connected. So it's exclusive for you if you have an OPZ, download it, find it. What I'm going to do today, I'm pretty stoked about this, <laughs> can't hide my eagerness to show you, is just to show you uh, the way the final end product looks and how it works. And uh, if, if you're more interested in how I actually made it, I hope to show you that in a later video because I, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the hood. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and show you how it works. All right, so let's do this. OPZ, push, push it and scan. Uh, I've been trying a lot of OPZs over the years. So there we go, it's connected. And so let's head into motion and load the pack there. And so this is what it's like. First of all, there's a new feature in the new version is you can press uh, any place between the title and the buttons to make it full screen. Now we're about to enter the world of Mega Man. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, um, go to any pattern you want and press track and and uh, camera to enter the, the, the motion track and wiggle the red encoder. Here we are in the world of Mega Man. Welcome. <laughs> it's it's working like this. In this pack, there's a number of scenes, and you can fire them off by pressing uh, the the black keys on the keyboard. And in order to manipulate each scene, you press the white keys on the keyboard. First half of the keyboard is the effects. The second half is the uh, animations. So let's try the effect. There's a little glitch effect there. There's another glitch, more analog style. And there's a pixelation effect. This is momentarily zooming in. And then this is a ASCII art uh, effect. Here is a kaleidoscope. Yeah, so those are the effects. Some of the effects have an amplitude. You can set that with a blue encoder. So like this, for instance, the number of iterations. Yeah, so from E and up, there is animation. On this particular scene, yeah, it's under attack, this poor city. And another thing in this scene is the yellow encoder, which is the sunrise. Oh, look at that. And of course, all of these things uh, you can um, animate. So if I just erase this particular track and uh, press rec and play. <laughs> So now there's a wall, and it's punching some effects. So now this could just keep going and going in the background now. Yeah. And some of the effects you can see was uh, you turn them on and then you turn them off on the next one, like this, and this. Yeah, 
So the next scene, number two. What's happening there? It's just a house. So with a green encoder in most of the scenes, you uh, manipulate the camera. So there we go. Mega Man is standing there on top of the building. What's going on? No, there's a wall and he's in pain. Oh. And now having the same automation, just with a different scene, sending the same signals. I'm gonna clear it. This can also change the size now. The sunrise all the way up. It's nice. But it's not nice with the wall going on. Pain. Alright. The next one, number three. What's going on here? What's going on? Well, it's like a party place for all of the characters here. Not all of them, but many of the characters in the, the Mega Man series. Well, we've got Mega Man himself. He's up there. And with the helmet on now. Let's zoom in. The same effect here. Same way of manipulating. And the camera is kind of moving along a predestined path. So there's a little guy there. You, you probably know all these characters. <laughs> I had so much fun animating these, uh, both with existing uh, animation and just repurposed. And also I invented some new animation too. Like this one, if we press play now, you can see it's turning. Actually, the thing that's making him turn is the kick drum. So the animations are listening to kick drum so you go to the kick drum kick track you can see him turning if i fire off a, a different animation like this one is more a hip-hop style like old school hip-hop i can zoom in and there's the windmill of course Mega Man can do the windmill, no problem. A zoom. Can make him huge. And it's also listening to the drum track all the time, switching places. So let's check check these out then. <laughs> Uh, Woodman, oh, what's going on here? Projectiles, yeah. So you can play around with the different animations like this, and also with all of the effects at the same time. Maybe this, like move the camera rapidly with this effect at the same time, or maybe just slowly. Change the pattern. got glitches going on yeah so so that's scene number what number three let's check out number four what's going on whoa this is like a track i made i want it to look like a, a real track kind of so uh, I, I just animated a whole long track and uh of course if you just if it just runs Maybe it's a little bit simple, but if you do stuff like this along the along the way, yeah. So you can have a lot of fun here. Let's check out uh, the next one, number five. This is more of a just. It, this is just it. You, it's this cool scene, and zoom zoom. Not much animation, but there is an Easter egg. I put an Easter egg here, and uh, if you know the Easter egg in Mega Man 2, uh, there is an Easter egg in the menu screen where where you select the characters and press some buttons. Uh, you can change the, the star scroll in the background into Pippi. So let's do that. I'm gonna hide this and let's see. 
press two notes at the same time, uh, which notes uh, I won't reveal. Did you see that? Nice. There's like a little. <laughs> yeah. So now we've got Pippi in the background. That's excellent. <laughs> so we're at five, are we? Let's check out number six then. Number six, it's Woodman, his own little world. Let's play some music for Woodman. And also, I put like a, a it's not an Easter egg, but just a, a fun thing here. You press this button, he's becoming huge, and all the people here are like cheering for him. And the last scene, number seven, is really special. What's going on here? What's going on? Well, we've got the effects as usual. And uh, have we got some animations too? Yeah, there's something happening, right? You can move forwards and back forwards. And you can use the, the green knob encoder to turn around. So if, if you play this Mega Man game, you know that this is a homage to the ending scene of Mega Man 2. I love this place. I always wanted to be, to kind of stay in this place. You can jump, jump. You can see the hands too. How, how do you see more of the hands? Well, the green with the yellow encoder, you can uh, see more of the hands, more of the sky. Yeah. And when we play the music, you're going to see some fingers uh, um, move. And each finger is corresponding to the, each uh, track here. So there's eight eight music tracks and eight finger movements so kick drum and so so forth yeah <laughs> just thought it was funny to do that okay let's get over there no i can't grab the helmet oh no right. so there's another thing in the ending scene it's seasons with the red knob you can change the seasons of this scene it's actually uh pretty lovely uh, and also if, if you press this you're going to turn on the turn on <laughs> it sounds a bit crude turn on the precipitation of the current season like here kind of frosty so we'll get snow i can check the snow like that oh it's so beautiful we'll head over to um to more of a yeah Sakura season. Yeah, it's coming there. Oh, look at this. Nice. I can walk around in the Sakura season. Nice. Yeah, and here we've got like spring rain. Beautiful, beautiful. And also, um, if we turn it off again, that same uh, Easter egg with PP, you can turn it on here as well. Yeah, like two magic buttons, two of the notes at the same time. See? And uh, there you go. PP comes falling down, <laughs> bouncing up. Hello, PP, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, th so that's it. I just hope that. Uh, you, you'll have fun with this and just move around and find like sweet ways of just hanging out in this uh, nice Mega Man world. And all of the scenes that you've seen now that can also be animated, of course. So if we do this now. go literally bonkers here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So with that, I, I just hope that uh, Mega Man fans around the world such as myself would just have fun here and just enjoy uh, seeing Mega Man in a, a different context and uh, just have fun. Uh, if you want to use this for 
uh, for any visuals or anything like that, it's, yeah, please go ahead, do it. This is free download for anyone owning the OPZ. Uh, just go to the, to the OPZ app and uh, connect the OPZ to get access to this pack. Just go bonkers. Peace out, everyone. I hope you enjoy this. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on YouTube, uh, please consider throwing in some donation over at my Patreon. I appreciate that very, very much. So thank you, everyone doing that. I appreciate it so much. And, uh, and also, uh, if you want to see more of what it is like to do these, I have uh, some tutorials that I go through, like the basic steps of how to get going. Uh, but this is a couple of steps further and I've been uh, quite inventive with making the patches work uh, in new ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, I hope to see you soon again. Uh, this is Cuckoo. Thank you for watching. Stay curious. Explore, explore, explore and be open-minded. And you can do stuff like this. Peace out, everyone.